uh, long flight last night must feel like a long day for you. Must be looking forward to getting out and training. Uh, what can the fans who are watching expect from this session? What are they looking <laughs> A long day, and I must be looking forward to train. Finally, oh, I slept 25 minutes ago. To be honest, um, I didn't want to. But it happened to me, so I can imagine how the boys feel. So the session, of course, it's not not now the most important session in the whole preseason. We try to adapt to the to the different time zone. We try to adapt to the circumstances. It's a little bit. England was warm when we left, but um, it's not as warm um, as it is here. So um, that's all. It's a public. Uh, it's an open session. Means people can watch it. So, but we had already enough sessions. Um, means that this one is more to to find the legs again after after the flight. Then we have one tomorrow morning, and then we play tomorrow night. And I'm look, looking really forward to the game tomorrow night. It's my former club, of course. That's one thing, but it's for sure the best team we played so far in the preseason. And yeah. Happy that we are here now and um, can now start settling and then uh, um, using the three games to make the next step. What kind of step up in intensity are you looking for from the matches? Because you've got this quite a goal between you play so far Intensity wise, I'm not 100% sure. We need to have a look now for the session, uh, the session, and then talk to the boys and all that stuff. But it looks like we will make we change again in half time completely. Last time, maybe. Um, but um, how is that? Because we have to settle first um, uh, and foremost. And um, yeah, that's it. And then, of course, we have we, we, so far we trained a lot. Big intensity. Um, um, long sessions, all that stuff, but I think so far we came through um, quite well. Um, and now the challenge for us is to 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 involve the other, the new, the three new players plus Ginny Wijnaldum, who couldn't play so far uh, in a, yeah, in the next few days that they maybe can play a few minutes at least in the last game. And so it's different intensity for all the boys. But um, when we play, we want to do, we want to show the 100 percent of the moment. Um, it will be not our 100%, but um, the 100% available I want to see, and um, that's it. The games are different, um, show different things so far, um, and um, especially the last game, the second half, it looked really like like football. It looked like that I saw a lot of things. In all the games, I saw a lot of things what we did in training, and I want to see that again. So we need to find um, back on track as quick as possible. That's how it is, but I cannot... I cannot um, Force it, so we have to we have to do what we have to do, and then you play the games and you work with the games. You analyze it, and then you give the, the hopefully the right information, and then you make the next step in the next game. But these three games in a very short period um, are a, a challenge for all for all the teams involved, and um, with the traveling between and all that stuff. But preseason is a is a summary of challenges. Uh, you, you, you want to have dif difficult circumstances. We said that last year already when we were in Hong Kong. So very difficult. But yeah, we came through, we played football and that's what we do again because the season is not waiting for us. Eh? It's, it starts with the 12th of August and we need to be ready and, and, and uh, how you know um, a season is really Again, a lot of difficulties during a season, and uh, the better you can, the best way to prepare that is to have the problems already pretty early in the preseason. That's what we try to create, and I think um, we did it. And now we have to show that we try to solve all the problems ahead. Simon Stein, BBC. Yeah, yeah again, the fact that you play Manchester City and Manchester United, they're going to be two of your major rivals. Is that a problem? It seems a bit. Weird to play them both in a short period of time in pre-season. I saw yes, I saw only the lineup of the game and City against Dortmund yesterday. Um, it's quite a surprise, but City had uh, two lineups, and I would say I knew 40% of the players. Maybe that's because I have no clue about football, or because the players are pretty young. Um, and um, so that's how we all have to do it in the preseason. So we play not the teams um, we will play in in the, in the season. It doesn't work. So that's the schedule. We cannot change that. We have to. The boys need to have holiday or, or, or vacation, whatever, and um, that's what they had. And now they start. So and who you play then? It's not a problem. No, absolutely no problem to play City and and and, and United. We play them during the season, but I don't think that one of us will use these games for the analyze. If we prepare the game, we prepare the game, so that will be not um, very useful. But. Now I said it only means in that moment we face the strongest um, tonight, uh, tomorrow night Dortmund and City then United the strongest they can line up like we do it 
and then we have to find a solution for that game, but it will not show the way for the season or whatever. And it's the first time you've had Mo Salah since the end of the season when a lot obviously happened with the Champions League final. Then went to the European Cup, he signed a contract. Is he fully fit now? Because fully recovered. Egypt full have pushed him into play in the World Cup. Yeah, but there was we were constantly in contact. He was he was he was fine. Shoulder wise, was no had no problems. He we 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 had very close contact. And it was clear if he has any problems still, then he would have waited the next game. So it's not he's a very serious person, and he want, he knows that um, uh, it's his career. So whatever people want from you, if you can't, you can't. That's how it is. But he was completely fine. He's completely fine now. So he looks full of. Full of joy, uh, he's really happy to be back, and um, it was nice to see them yesterday first time. And same for Sadio; they had an intense year behind, but um, they um, are, yeah. Like I said they're really looking forward to the to the season already, and um, it's good to have them back and can start training now and all that stuff. It was not a long time they were out, but I think it was very important that at least three weeks. And now they really have a, still a good basis. They look very fit. We met the test late yesterday. Both have fantastic values, so they did the work they had to do, and now they can start quicker than the rest of the team um, in another from another basis. And that's good for us, but um, the season starts 12th of August, not this week, so good. Okay, before we go to the smaller house, James Pearce from Liverpool Echo. Just to, just you, know, you said a few days ago that you would need to trim the squad slightly before the, the end of the window. Uh, Danny Ings hasn't come on this trip. Is he one that you'd expect to move on in the next few weeks? Yeah, of course, of course. Uh, was um, was really unlucky in the situation. You saw it in the, in the, in the preseason. It had nothing to do with any other injuries he had. Maybe before it was just an unlucky situation. It was a press ball, and um, the angle got a little. It's it's really not serious. But um, with all respect, we have no. There's no need to rush it now. So um, he's here, and hopefully he can have a few minutes in, in one of the games. Not tomorrow, uh, but uh, that's that's it. And um, okay, we'll go to uh, Ashley. From the Charlotte Cup. Hello. Thanks. Welcome to Charlotte. And of course, this is the second time that this club has been here following a World Cup. Came in 2014, beat Milan in this three year time. How has the club evolved since that 2014 side finishing second in the league and now coming off second in the Champions League win? Yeah, obviously, it went not um, straight through, I would say, so otherwise, I would not be here. And probably still Brian Rogers would say that it was um, after that season, which was very successful, it didn't work that that well, um, and um, that's why the board thought uh, they didn't have to change the manager. That's what they did, and since two th October 2015, nearly three years, unbelievable. I'm I'm in charge, and so yeah, we feel in a good moment. To be honest, it's um, that we. I know in sports you're only successful if you win things, but. We couldn't win things, but we were quite successful. On the other hand, side, it's we have we were in three finals, two major finals, which are big ones. Um, lost them in different ways. Was not the best moments of our lives, of course, but it's still an experience which we try to use in the future. So, have a good squad. Club is in a good mood. We are all, if you want, all kind of the front foot. We really think. Um, not that we reach the target, but we that we, we see at least the line, um, and so that's that's it. And we are competitive. We are really in the, in the middle of uh, of a period of development, and not too far away from um, from doing a few special things. We played fantastic football, especially last season. Season before, not too bad as well. Qualified twice in a row for the Champions League, which is in England a really a tough thing to do. And um, so that's all kind of success, not a success exactly what we want. But yeah, we have. It's not that you wish, and, and it's not Christmas, and we say we want that, and it's on the tree. We have to, uh, we have to work for it, and that's what we do. And um, how's that? Whole club feels in a good moment, and uh, hopefully we can continue like that. That being said, seeing the development, of obviously. Charlotte, they're very strong, red, and what for people who aren't able to go over to Liverpool, they're not able to get into Enfield, they don't have that experience, what does this offer for them? 
We have the problem in a lot of places around the world, to be honest. We were last year after the season we were in Australia, and it felt like the whole country was waiting for us. And it's, it was quite a trip for us eh, to go there. But we, we went there to play a game. I think we flew longer than we stayed in Australia. So it's not that easy. But um, we are really happy that we can, from time to time at least, um, come to different places in the world and, and, and show up and, and give them all a little bit back for all the things they invest over the year. I read a little bit about the supporters club here in Charlotte and where, how they meet and how it started and all that stuff. I like these stories. And I can imagine that this club really, if you see him once and you are open for a new experience, then it easily happens that you are addicted to it. And eh? so the, the atmosphere around the club is really special. Um, it's, it's a big, big, it's a, yeah, it's a worldwide brand, but it's as well a family. It's quite rare. Um, this combination, and so um, I'm, I'm really happy that we can be here and 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 give all these people a little bit back, um, and um, they. That's why it was so important to us that we can that we have, for example, Mo Salah and Sadio Mane here. I'm sure people want to see them. They will not. They will them not see tomorrow on the pitch playing, but um, we try everything what we can, that we can sign a few shirts, make a few pictures and all that stuff, so to, that we can be as close as possible and um, to the people. And that's it's really cool, but um, it will probably not um, replace the, the experience to be one time and at Anfield, so I, and I hope that they can that they have that chance one time in their life, because it's a special place. I knew about it before I came in, now I felt it a lot of times and it's really special and so um, yeah how is that we cannot change that we cannot bring in 300 400,000 people in the stadium but um, especially in a game against United probably could happen that people could sell out and um, even that number so that's good for the club and um, we, we, we feel responsible for that and hopefully we can fulfill the role yeah, I've got to Steve on the front I will come over to you John to football so uh, Steve have you got it here? Hi right here Hello. Uh, again, welcome. And I was just wondering, given the this game here, is there what are the chances of uh, Christian Pulisic uh, moving from the yellow wall to the red wall? Yeah, yeah. He has a contract that double, not right. So that's the first problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like Christian. I know him since he was a kid. Huh? So um, and uh, he's, he's still not really old, um, and he's a fantastic player. So that's and I know what. And it's deserved for the, for the, that the people think highly of him. In America and Germany, it's the same. And she, if he wants to play one day in England or whatever, he has for sure the chance to do so. But in this moment, he's in a really good club. He's in for his for his development in this moment, it's really good to be in a club. They know him already. And he, he had not his best season last year, but he was still a decisive player. So it's very really important in that age group that you are not that there's no rush in it because he has still 14, 15 years to play in his career, and that, that's that's good. And he wants to be, I'm sure, the best Christian Pulisic he can be. And, and for this, there's still a space for development. And if at one point he will join us or not, I don't know. Um, but I like him. So it's not that uh, that's, that that could be the problem, but we respect contracts still, and uh, there is no no market I know about in the moment. So we, we did our business, and Dortmund is doing their business. So all good. Okay, I'll try to John from Associated Press. Because it's going to be the last couple to catch my eye with yourself, Gary. So John from uh, Associated Press. Will come out. Good talk, Hal Klapp. Uh, John Moe from Associated Press here. Um, can you just uh, discuss a few thoughts about facing your old club? Uh, what's it like? Are you wistful? Fond memories of your previous employer. <laughs> to be honest, we have um, had a lot of contact today with them, so um, because we th I thought we are in the same city, so we can meet um, tonight at the hotel, for example, in their hotel, our hotel. The problem is only we have our own tour time, so for me in the moment it's 5:45. Um, I think Dortmund is already in U.S. time, so here. That means when we train, they sleep, or, or I, I didn't get it. I didn't get through 100%. So, but it's not possible. And I could go to the hotel tonight, our time, 11:30, and I, that I'm asleep already. Then, so it's only we tried hard to to meet. So I have a very good relationship to all the people there, and I would have loved to see them all again. And um, so I have a lot of memories. Um, around the club, around the, these people, uh, had a fantastic time there. And we, we only met on the pitch once, which was exciting. 
for them a little bit disappointing for us, successful as well. So it's um, I had only two clubs so far, so it's not too difficult to stay close to these two clubs, and that's what I do. It's not that we um, <coughs> that we talk every day, but uh, a lot of my friends, my best friends, working there. So I wish them all the best. And tomorrow night it's a it's a test game, it's a pre-season game, so it's not the most important game in the season. So we both want to challenge each other in that game, of course. But um, um, if you win or lose, that's not um, decisive for the rest of the season. So it's a good. This is a good um, tournament to meet your old friends, and um, so I'm really looking forward to it. Secondly, um, you, you had to spend a, a fair bit of coin to get some of the players you wanted. I know back when United signed Paul Pogba, you had some choice words to say about that. What did you say about the game of football? <laughs> you, have to, you have to engage in this financial arms race to get the team you want. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a problem these days. Eh? So you say uh, whatever bullshit you you say, uh, nobody <laughs> nobody will forget it. No, but it's on on the other side. It's it, it's still it's still kind of true. The world since then, I couldn't have imagined that that the world will change like that. And uh, come on, in these days, uh, two three years ago, two and a half years ago, whenever it was, um, one hundred million was kind of a, a crazy number of of money. So, but since then, the world obviously changed completely. And I'm sure in this moment, we signed uh, the most expensive goalkeeper, bam, bam, and all that stuff. There will be a few nice little transfers in this window still. We are we are only pretty early, and but it will happen a lot. And um, yes, it's first and foremost my responsibility is to for this club to be as successful as possible. And I, it's not about my to, to, to push through my thoughts about that and say, no, I don't want to buy players and I don't want to pay big money and stuff like that. In the end, Liverpool FC is not successful. That doesn't work. We have a really good team. We have a really good squad. And to improve a squad like this is expensive because to find better players than we already have, so they are not waiting around the corner. So you need to we respect contracts, but of course, if you're interested in a player, we try. We still try to contact the club and the player, and um, um, and then to try to to bring this player in. And then, in the moment when we are convinced about it, then our ownership, thank God, is is uh, believes that much in the project that they say, okay, and let's do it. And let's do it. That's uh, and I really think that there's a so far it is a really a really good year for us because we, how said, very good squad. Pretty successful last year. Played piece of wonderful football last <coughs> year. So and then still we needed to replace players. Emre Can left, and so that was a sort of very good business with for bringing Fabinho in. Um, Nabi Keita we wanted to have already last year. It was a wonderful player. So it was um, it was a no-brainer. Only though the money is then of course a little issue. But I said the club gave us the opportunity, and then. Um, we had a lack of width in, in the squad, a little bit offensive line. So Shakiri again, who saw him playing in the World Cup, not only in the World Cup. I know Stoke uh, got relegated last year, but he had a lot of good games. And it's how it is for really good footballers if they're in a situation with fighting for, for or, or against um, uh, relegation. It's not the football for them. That's how it is. So he couldn't had not the world best season, but in a foot team. With other players around, he can make the next step. And for him in his career, it's a very good moment. Being 26, having already a lot of experiences and stuff like that. So, and then, yeah, and then there was a world-class goalkeeper available. And you cannot, with a long, pretty long contract in Rome, so you cannot ask for a free transfer in that. So, we don't care what the world around is thinking. Like Man United didn't care what I had to say about it. So it's only an opinion in that moment. And um, did I change my opinion? Yes, that's true. But it's better to change opinion than never to have one. So and, and that's 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 it. And whatever people will say about that and bring it up again and again and again, what I said that day, I had I had worse days in my life and I said worse things. So I'm fine with that. All good. We have the players we wanted and I'm fine with that. Last question in the open. Um, just remind everyone that the training session is available and if you let outside to watch that, we'll make a couple of players available after the session as well. It has to be the last question in the press conference, Gareth. Okay. Okay, can they, we hear football managers all the time say that results don't really matter in pre season, it's more about fitness, it's more about preparation. But I just wonder, because of the emotional attachments of the sides you're playing in this tournament, Dortmund, City, United. Do you want to win this? Do you want to win those games more than you would an ordinary pre-season game? If you like it, 
No, to be honest, Mr. Nossi, I want to win all preseason games, but I have to accept that it's not always possible. So, and it's then not the most important thing. Before the game, I want to win the game with all I have. That's that's how it is. But after the game, I said preseason games are for you. You take what you get and uh, work with it. That's how it is. And it's not whichever team tomorrow night will play. It's not probably with a 99 percent. Um, uh, Probability, it's not a team we will start in the, in, the, in the season. So, and I have to prepare the team for the for the season, and um, play all these games. Yeah, it's true against these names. You don't want to lose all three. You don't want to win all three. But at the end, you have to work with the results. You have to work. Football is about winning. That's true. And I want to see that we fight for the result tomorrow, like Dortmund did, did yesterday, obviously against City, a one nil, early one nil, and then obviously no other goal anymore. There will be. I didn't see it, but there will be situations where both. Had to defend um, and, and all that stuff. That's what I want to see to 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 face the problems in a football game and to find solutions. That's why we're doing the preseason. And um, but now it's it's it, we are on a far away from home and uh, the, quite a trip. And, it, and we don't look for excuses, aren't it? But on, only know already. I cannot ignore that in the in analyze. Still possible that we play that we play really good football. We had we played two years ago. I think if I remembered right, we played really well against Chelsea, but we still lost. After a set piece, boop, Chelsea scored a goal. I think it was Cahill or whatever. So you don't like it, but at the end, better you lose a preseason game and, and, and make the best of make take the right information out of that game than you lose during the season. So that's how it is. But no, they. The ICC tournament, I really like it because it gives you the opportunity to play those teams because you have to play anyway and you can play a few of the best in the world in a similar situation like yourself. And so I'm. Um, yeah, no, I'm really, I'm really happy about the opportunity. You know, let's play, let's play it, and then we will see what we can make of it. Thank you, guys. If you want to go pitch side for the training.